So, it's me, your little boy, okay, Samson. You know, I have five or six dangerous what disadvantage of those that come against you to bring you down. You know, sometimes some people don't understand the reason why things are going wrong around them. You know, there are five dangerous things that will happen to those either now or in future to come, those that we messed up with you as a choosing. One of it is that they will lost or lose their opportunities to grow. Yes. You know, the day you start, you made up your mind to fight a man of God or a child of God or a choosing or someone that God has already called that carry grace, be prepared to be disgraced. This is one of the greatest disadvantage of coming against any choosing. Yes, I'm here to tell you, you choosing that they are fighting, that they are, they, people are trying to pull you down, people are fighting you secretly, publicly, they hate you for, on, for everything. That You may be thinking that nothing is going to happen to them. The reason, the most dangerous thing that they are putting themselves is that they will lost the opportunity or privilege to grow. Example is what is King Saul. The day King Saul started to plan how to destroy David, that day he lost his glory. Another example is what is Herman. The day Herman made up his mind to fight Esther, that marked the beginning of his downfall. So another dangerous thing that will happen to whoever that may come against you or whoever that have messed up with you in the past is that they are digging their own grave even with what without them when it is not yet. The, what I'm trying to say is this, you know some people will give up upon your upon their life. Some people will do what we died untimely dead for the sake of the fact that they want you to die. Yes. The Bible says, who is that that will cost whom I have what I have blessed? Meaning that whoever that cost you have cost himself. In other words, whoever that plot evil for you to go down or to die, we also end it with, with, with what? Before you. We also test what they did before you. You know what I'm saying? So when people are plotting evil against you as a choosing, you don't need to retaliate. That is why the Bible says, the vengeance is mine. You don't need to be angry, to be mad, because they have no idea what they are doing to their self. It may not occur now. It may occur to tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's look about the example was what was Jezebel. When Jezebel took a land from a, what, a child of God, a choosing, she thought by killing her, she would get the property. But a prophet called Samuel went, Abinathan, he went to him and said to him, the same place where you kill this, but this man, that is the same place, the same place where dog will lick your word. Your blood, it come to pass according to the word of the prophet. You know what I'm saying? So another dangerous of fighting or coming or coming against a chosen one is that you that person will start to live a mysterious life. You know what I'm saying? So whoever that is coming up against you and be telling you that he's going to kill you, is going to frustrate you, is going not why he is alive or she's alive, you will succeed. Or they will do anything to make sure you will not make it in life or progress in life. They will end they will that moment they make that statement. Look at it. The day people made up their mind to come against you to pull you down, that marked the beginning of their mystery as a choosing. That is why you should not revenge. Allow the Lord to use his word to revenge to them. You know what I'm saying? So when people start to trouble you, that is when you realize that they will start to live a life of what mystery. A life that is full of what mystery. They won't be able to understand. They won't be able to figure out what is happening. Before they know, life will eat them off. Example of it is what is Judas is carried. The day Judas decided to do or to betray the master, that particular moment marked the day of his downfall. That he start to live a mysterious life, a dangerous life, a scaring life. A sadness life. So another another danger of coming or coming against of or standing up against a chosen one, trying to pull them down. The another danger of feet you will face as a person that decide to fight them is that there will not be peace 
for the wicked. This is the word of God. The Bible says the enemies are what are running from, from and to. What does that mean? They have no rest. They are running front and to. And the Bible says the enemy runneth when no man pursue. So when people are running, when you are not pursuing them, that means they have no peace. So whenever some people say they are not, they are not going to live to see you and say, or that they will make every possible best to make sure life treat you badly or to put you in a condition where you will no longer be able to smile, jubilate, and say so seed, that will mark the day of them losing their peace. Many of them will not do it, will not be able to find peace, only because of the fact that they don't want you to find peace. Because God we serve is a giver of all. So many people will lose the opportunities to grow, to excel, because they don't want you to do it, to expound. You know what I'm saying? So these are the things that to that people who rise up against you or those who decide to come against you because of what they are seeing, this is what they will encounter. So do not be panicking or be be what be like ah what why am I living? Because of the trouble you have within you or because of some people who don't understand whom you are or who decide to come against you because they won't do it, they won't be able. To withstand what will come upon them. Remain blessed. May God bless you.